Ooh, he's going D-Shield. I'm a little bit worried about the Zac jungle. I think I'm going to ward early. Because their bot lane didn't leash, so he could be doing, like, Raptor red into either, like, Krug's top lane gank, or he could invade our jungle. Nice, I'm okay with that. His E cooldown is uh, 14 seconds, level 1. It's good to keep kind of a mental note of that. Normally, I would try to push this lane. But I don't know where the Zack is, and I'm, I'm a little bit scared of that. So I don't mind just letting him push. Dang, he's got the Biscuits, too. Biscuits and D-Shield. He's going to have a very safe early game. ADC's already calling FF. I don't know why I always get the Lucians that lose land. It's supposed to be one of the strongest early game ADCs and it always loses on my team. Oh, that's perfect. Nice, I'm glad I don't need a flash. Okay, I guess we're pushing. I was kind of thinking... I mean, I don't know. I would have to think about that a little bit more. Hopefully he doesn't pull the wave. If he does, it is what it is. Okay, nice. It's really good if he doesn't, though. Let's go straight for Cleaver in this match. I'm not even going to go for a call. I'm going to try skipping it. I think once you get Cleaver, you just start... I don't want to say you start hard winning, but it should be winning for you, as their god. Man, I feel like this guy's going to have no chill in bot lane. No, I don't think Hullbreaker's a must build. I think Hullbreaker's really good if you're snowballing, or you're versus like a really squishy champion. But I definitely don't think it's a must build. I think Cleaver's more of a must build than Hullbreaker. Oh, that's perfect. He didn't even stun me either. It's really nice if we can thin this wave down. Enough to where he actually doesn't push in. Nice, dude. He got greedy. He's trying to get the push. That's why it's so good to thin the wave there. If I thin the wave and just tank it out, it puts a lot of pressure on him. I don't think I push this wave quick enough. Actually, maybe I do. He has no port. I'm going to try. Hopefully this doesn't backfire, but I think we got it. Hopefully the Zack doesn't come flying out at me. Ooh, the wave doesn't push in. If I didn't hesitate, maybe it would. It would have been close, though. It's alright. I'm just glad we got the solo kill. It's okay if the wave gets a little bit scuffed. We have pretty good scaling this game. I guess they do, too, though. Oh, they got really good scaling, actually. Oh, my gosh. They actually probably outscale us a little bit. 
Yeah, I think this is a game where I really need to get a lead. What the heck is this? Wait, why are you flashing away? Dude. Why is he flashing away? I'm pretty sure we could win that. The Ziggs is, isn't even trying to make an effort to rotate either. Wow, okay. This is like mid-diamond too. My team just feels like they're asleep. Dude, that's so weird that they're just waiting in that bush. Like, they cast it in too. That's crazy. At least I got a kill. It's not bad for me, but it could have been really good if the Kane fought with me. I'm pretty sure we would have won. The wave's really good. I don't want to mess it up with my shotguns too much. Because he's kind of chunked and the wave is pushing to me. He's going to feel really pressured again. Hmm, I can't tell if he's getting a jungle gank. I thought for sure I was getting ganked. Nice, he's just jumping in. Man, I, I could have killed him on that first jump, actually. An ally has been slain. But I was really expecting a gank. Alright, we'll try to carry this. Dang, I sadly misclicked on a minion there, so I lost cannon. He's gonna TP, that's fine. Gosh, I really wish you would just chill, dude. I think I'm okay. I don't like selling D-Blade, but I think it's worth for Cleaver. My Q land? Nope. I couldn't tell. This will be a lot of plates if I don't need to help with the grubs. Do I get level 9 here? I think I do. Nice. Last minion gets me 9. That's clutch. Aw, oh, man, he got blobbed on. I need to play kind of aggressive right now because I, I need kills this game. Alright, another grinder. We're getting strong, dude. I wonder if I should go profane this game. Try to go full carry. Man, 
Man, I swear, every time I kill this guy, I just see somebody dying on my team. It's like we get one step ahead and then two steps back. Okay, if Alistar is coming up here, I'm just going to dip. He's definitely going to have somebody with him. Or he's going to try to gank right as the Jax gets back. A lot of their CC is knockups. I think I still, I think I got Tabby's this game. Yeah. Actually, I don't think Profane is that good. They have three people that get a lot of armor. Even Cass can get armor too, actually. So I think Lethality's kind of bad. I'm just going to go into Holebreaker. We'll do Holebreaker, Sterex, and like a Jack Show. Jack Show's really good here. They got a lot of mixed damage. Trust me on the Sundered. Should I try it? Sundered Sky. It actually doesn't seem bad here. I think the fights will be pretty extended. Okay, we'll do Sundered Sky instead of Holebreaker then. I'm down. If somebody comes over, we can definitely TV2. I'm super strong with Flash. All I need is one tower shot. This guy's mega tank. Ooh, nice. Good flash. Very nice, dude. Okay, I'm going to carry this, I think. That is payday right there, man. That Ezreal is a huge shutdown. I wonder if we should... I feel like we should go Drag. I think Dragon's the better call here. So this heals 70% base AD and 6% of my missing HP. Dude, that's actually not bad if I'm low. 45 AD, 450 HP. So you get more HP but less AD. I'll try this out, dude. Dang, he got the dragon. Oh no, we're dying to the jacks. I shut this guy down, man. Oh my god, he had flash. Or he flashed and then he rift walked. Yeah, I'm gonna go Sterex next. I definitely don't want to go Holebreaker if I'm trying out Sundered Sky. Because after Sterex, we need some we need to get some resist going. Yeah, true the it can't proc on your W. That's fine, though. I'm going to be W toggling. Yeah, I saw that Korean Urgot builds this item like every game. He goes Fleet, too, and Ghost. One of these days, I'll try out that Korean build. I still want to test it. It's funny, both of the games where I tried to test it uh, turned out to be a remake. It's like they didn't want me testing it. We can definitely get a feel for how good this item is this game, though. This seems like it'll be a good test because enemy team is pretty fed.
The only thing I wish this game is that I had teleport. Ignite was so nice for the lane, but... It's so hard to play without TP at this point in the game. I have to like push out the wave and then try to rotate. Can rotate really fast with these infernal thingies though. The cast is gonna get there before I can. It's honestly not bad if they live here. This guy has passive still, so I don't want to ulti him yet. Oh my god, dude, the Sundered Sky, it's healing so much. It's actually working. Wait, this is actually not bad. When I get low, it actually heals a lot. It's healing way more than 75. Oh yeah, it's 75 plus whatever my missing HP is, okay. I thought it would like calculate and show how much it heals. Like I thought when I would get lower, it would show how much it would heal. Man, I hope I can do this in time. I might be on a ward. I think we're good. All right, Sterax, Jack Show. I'll get the MR first since I have tabbies. Plus we got conditioning too, that'll be nice. Yeah, 700 healing, so we got 600 in that team fight because I was at 100. Oh my god, I didn't want that E to go. Thank you, Alistar. Just have to make sure I use my toggle. Dude, it's doing that crit damage too. That actually seems not bad. This really does not seem bad at all. Oh my god, he got him. That looked weird. Yeah, we should definitely prioritize drag. Dude, we could get four infernals and soul this game too. be some crazy damage. An enemy has been Man, I had my E in one second. Alright, well we finally died. Hopefully that doesn't cost us the game. That was a good try by the Thresh, almost saving me. I went in for the auto too to get the little heal. Dude, that's actually really good though. I bought the second item, Jax bought it first item. And I still have over 1,000 1, 000 heals. Could press 4 and run with Herald? Oh, dude, I could have. I guess it would take time to summon, but yeah, maybe that would have worked. I always forget about that. How you can, like, use Herald to run. I think right now we should keep team fighting, though. I'm going to push out this land, and then I think we just keep team fighting. We want to fight a lot before Cass gets 16. 
How come my auto attack doesn't doesn't crit right there? Wow, if I get the fear on cast, I can actually outplay that. Honestly, this death isn't too bad. We're getting a lot of towers. I didn't think they would send the entire team there. I was thinking maybe one or two people, which I was ready to try to outplay them. But they got the entire squad. Ooh, that's a good hook. They can just burst him. Ulti's gonna heal him a lot. He should be good. Oh, he went out of the redemption heal though. Gonna probably have to push out mid. Yeah, the weird thing is though, I feel like my Yeah, my Sundered Sky I don't think was Procky on the cast there. Does it have like a certain range? That would be weird. That'd be really weird. It should just proc on auto attack. I swear I didn't get the crit on that cast on my first two autos. Maybe I didn't. It was just on cooldown after that. That could have been it, too. Oh my god, so close. We should try to Baron. Man, I got I don't know how this Lucian was like complaining in bot lane. This Thresh is so good, man. Like this guy's playing so good. Our Lucian was whining about him in lane, but this guy's a beast. Yeah, I will say it is a little bit tough to uh, toggle, though, in a team fight. Nice. Didn't want to use my flash. If they made Sundered Sky just proc on Urgot W, oh my god, he tried to ambush me. If they made this item just proc on Urgot W, I think it'd be so good. It still feels pretty good, but if they made a proc on W, it'd be like insanely good, I feel like. He's gonna have his jump back up. This will be a decent slow, though. Nice, good work. Yeah, I know you want to get the crit, but if there's, like, some way... If they ever make Urgot W crit, I feel like that would be really good. Dude, I don't know. Can we do this? Wonder if Zach is gonna try to jump over. What do I go final item here? What if I go Spirit Visage? That actually looks pretty good. It would make my heal even bigger too.
They got a lot of magic damage. I think it is Spirit Visage. Final item. Too bad I don't got Fleet this game. I'm gonna see if I can cheese something, maybe. He might use his E on the wave here. Dude, that crit is so nice. That crit's actually really nice damage. You know what? I think I just go for the push. I don't make it in time. Let's try to get in hip here. My team can maybe contest that. Or at least stop the ports, hopefully. Holy moly, that was clean, dude. Careful, my man. Man, I had my W on. If I had my W off, I could. I think I could auto that Ezreal, and I think the crit would just kill him. Dude, 2,700 heals, though. This is good. I'm a fan of this, actually. Now that heal's gonna get boosted by Spirit Visage, my Sterak Shield will get boosted, my E Shield will get boosted. This will be really good. Man, their Ezreal's playing good though, and he's level 16. And he's kind of tanky with the uh, Frozen Heart Buy. Mm, that's not good. Not a bad time to die right now, though. There's nothing on the map, at least. Hmm, Deadmans? What would I sell for Deadmans, though? I feel like my build is so good. The thing that's really nice about my build this game is, like, even Jax has a lot of mixed damage. So, MR is still good against him. And that cast in is about to be a beast at 16. He's level 15 right now. Let's go get a red pot and then try to team fight. Red pot's gonna be really good in this build. Even more heals. How much vamp is it? 12%? That's pretty good. Cast didn't get 16 off that wave. Hopefully he doesn't get it before the drag fight. I really wish I had flash for this fight though. All right, have a good one, Professor. Take care. This Jax is gonna get tier two. It's a pretty bad time to look for a fight. Oh wow, he's running demolished too. The tower's gonzo. Oh 
mad. Jax is going to flank, probably. Dang, I almost saved him with that grinder. That's not good. Dude, he eat in and it was back up already. That's crazy. I feel like I don't have a way to kill this Ezreal, man. The Alstar is about to headbutt me. I was gonna see if I could try to bait with the stair axe. Dang, their late game is crazy, man. Like seriously, every single champ is so good on their comp. I'm trying to think what we do. I think we just need Baron. Baron and maybe Soul. It's really hard to go against their comp with uh, not having flash. This guy needs to go bot, by the way. I can't go bot without TP. Grouping is fine if, as long as Cass isn't split in. Oh, dude. Oh, he used his hook. Dang, man. The Ezreal's too much of a counter. We played that fight pretty good, I think. But yeah, we need to go for Ezreal. The problem is I, I need Flash to do so. My champion can't, can't handle Ez. We still have Ziggs for wave clear, though. This is where I wish I could go old Prowler's Claw. And just prowlers onto Ezreal and burst him. Nice. Dude, we could Baron now. Baron into Sol. I don't know. I don't want to sell Visage. I feel like it's doing a lot. In one fight, I got 2k bonus heals and 1.1k bonus shields. I feel like that's really value. It's honestly going to be fine once we have Flash. Then I can kill Ezreal. Nice, I get the Baron, and then we just hopefully go for Soul. The timers will work out kind of perfect here. I think I'll have Flash for next fight, for sure. They're probably going to rush this thing, though, pretty fast. This Thresh is just going in. Oh, my God. He's hooking the dragon.
Look at that shield, though. Dang. Yeah, I mean, I just need flash. I thought I was going to have it for next fight, but... The fight happened a little sooner than I thought. We got the soul, though. That's good. They don't end. I wonder if I should sell Sundered Sky, though. It feels like it's maybe falling off a little bit. I can't tell, actually. It, it feels good. It feels good, but not insane. I'll try the dead man's tech. Let's see if that helps. Ezreal sold his frozen heart, so I can actually pretty easily burst him now. Like, if I land an E on him, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can one-shot. It's just hard, though, because nobody else can really go for Ezreal. I think Ziggs also has a big problem with dealing with Ez. I gotta say, though, the Sundered Sky is legit, man. I like it. I'm definitely gonna be doing some more testing with that. There we go. We got him. Yeah, that's what I need, man. I need my flash. Can we end the game? We can definitely get some inhibs. Man, I don't think we can end, though. They still got Zack. I don't even got Hole Breaker this game either. This would be a nice game to have Hole Breaker. Oh no, I should have landed that. Oh, he got his ulti off though, nice. Can we get both of these? I don't know. I think it's too greed. Strike is such a low cooldown, dude. Oh my god, amazing pick. I should have waited. This game is too tense, man. Don't have mana though, dude. Can you at least get the lantern? Nope. I hope we don't lose off this. These are some super long timers. Every wave is pushed, though. But they're, if anything, they're probably going to get Baron. Yeah, they're probably just going to go for Baron.
I wonder if Spirit's worth it at this point. Force of Nature might be better. Just for the speed. I think it probably is better. I don't really have much healing anymore either. Since I sold the uh, Sundered Sky. If they only get Baron, it's fine. If they get Elder too, though. Oh man, I think they do. Oh man, they do for sure. I don't think we make it in time. They did it so fast. Can we get a random pick maybe just to like delay the timer? All of our waves are pushed. Got a little bit of time to chill. Elder's only two minutes, right? It actually times out pretty fast. We gotta play it slow, guys. The enemy team doesn't have much poke besides the uh, Ezreal keys. Oh my god, I landed on Cass. Man, it's actually so hard to aim Urgot ulti in these intense games. I feel like my aim is suffering. So close on the bomb. Wait, this should be really good, right? God, that elder damage. They didn't even play that fight good either. I think if they just clear waves, we're completely fine. Dude, this game is going to be over an hour long. This is crazy. I can't believe the late game isn't feeling that bad with their champs. Because I feel like they have way better late game than us. I think we must be outplaying them. Because it actually feels pretty manageable. But yeah, I took 1800 just from Elder Burn. That's crazy, man. Game's going to come down to next Elder, I think. Honestly, respect to both teams, though. I feel like both teams are putting up a good fight. I haven't had a game go this long in so long. I don't think I can go GA. I think my build's really good. I'll be too slow if I sell my boots. Especially with my flash down, I really need boots now. I feel like I only beat Jax if I have Ignite. But I also think it's a... it's. I'm probably not going to get a 1v1. The fight will take so long. Somebody can easily rotate over. I knew they were going to try for that play.
Yeah, even with Force of Nature and Dead Man's, you're still really slow without boots, especially if your Dead Man's isn't stacked. I don't think it's worth. Tabbies are still really good value, too. They help a lot versus Ezreal and Jax. I think they work against Cast W, too. We're going to have to try to push out lanes when these objectives are about to spawn. Take our wave. This is good though. We can play for Baron now. Gotta make sure this guy doesn't kill me. He's gonna try. Okay, that's a really long timer. Holy moly, this game, dude. Hopefully, we just get Baron Elder and then maybe end. It's definitely better to go for objectives because it takes us so long to run across the map. I can't believe the one game where I don't go fleet. I would have like over, I'd probably have like 15,000 fleet heals this game. Honestly, press attack has done over 4k damage though. Hopefully we kill this before Zach gets here. Alright, now surely we can end the game, right? We got Baron, we got Elder. Surely that has to be enough. Nice, the Jax is recalling. It's good if we spread out, by the way, against Zack. If he gets like a three-man E, they could actually win the fight. I'm going to try to play for a grinder on their front line, I think, if they jump in. That's what I did last fight. Ooh, nice hook. God, they were kind of winning that fight for a second. Nice, dude. Finally. Good game. 23, 8, and 19. Dude, 13,000 damage blocked on Sterax. That's the most I've ever seen. Holy moly, GG. Finally, man. That's my first win today, too. After over two hours, that's our first win. Definitely giving that one to Thresh. Okay, we get a plus 30, too. That's actually big. Jeez, man. 84k damage. Ziggs had 118k. Surprise Ezreal only had 97. I almost had the same damage as Ezreal. I feel like it was pumping out damage. Their Zac took 111k damage. Oh my god, I had 93 CC score. 
Almost as much CC score as the Thresh, and he was like perma CCing people. Let's see what my heals was. I got, I think I got 3k healing. I got a little over 3k on Sundered Sky. But yeah, 16k total without fleet. It's actually really good. Triumph probably healed me like, yeah, Triumph healed 7k. So between Triumph and Sundered Sky, I healed 10k. Wow, that's insane, dude. Almost 5k damage on PTA. That's a great game to have conditioning and overgrowth, too. Man, good game. Good game from both teams, honestly. Really well played.